store and lock them. Yeah. It made these files under local directory in other domain, so no, no. you can still do the export. No, no, it is only this domain. Only this. So if we need the same one in others, do we need to do it manually again? Yes, correct. You have to upload it or that. I'll tell you another right. option is. Okay. Yeah. See, with respect to your domain in data power, be it be the files or the configuration, everything is going to be domain specific. So whatever okay. that you do it in this SVR test domain will not be visible in other domains. Okay. Like you can say physically you are partitioning your appliances into your pieces. Okay. And as I said lock store and lock temp are the two directories which we use mainly for the logging purpose. Which means for example especially the lock temp directory if you see it will have a file called default-log. This is the default log file so that whenever there is an any error with respect to any object within this domain, this particular log file is going to be updated. Okay, It's a default path for all your domain specific logs to be saved. So you can take a look into this log file whenever there is an error so that you can identify the issue. Okay. So as of now we can understand the lock store and lock temp are the two directories which we use for the logging purpose. When we do the actual testing of the services then we'll come back it, come back to here and we see what is the more benefits that we can get out of this lock store and lock temp directory. Okay. Followed by 